Hi, this is Firestarter and this is a review of the Revoltek Yamaguchi Sanada Yukimura from Sengoku Basara. So uh, Sanada comes with a standard Revoltek box but I know you're not interested about it. So let's take a closer look on the Crimson Demon of War. Although some may complain that the overall position of this figure doesn't capture the anime series but it is actually the MMORPG that inspired in creating this figure. Even though Zengoku Bazaar is set in an Edo era, the overall flaming costume design is an over-the-top take on the warring states period of Japanese history. What you're looking at is the base form when you take out the figure out of the box. So to complete, you need to peg on the flowing rat tail and the headband at the back of his head. There is a small hinge at the bottom so it gives you an ample room to fasten the bandana and the hairpiece. As for the interchangeable hands, sadly, he only has two holding hands to hold the cross spears. The shafts consist of red and brown portions and ends with brass colored rings. Both ends have this white translucent peg to accommodate the blades. And there is a combined version of the shaft which accepts the blades on both ends. Only this version has an issue because with this on, you can easily flick the wrist from left to right. Just like most anime representations in this toy line, this figure also includes an alternate face. To use this, I suggest to take out the head first and pull out the default underneath the head. I have qualms in using this because the sculpt and the paint applications on the eyes are uneven and overall doesn't give you that alternative look or expression that you need for the figure. Other inclusions are the standard effects part, the stand, the orange case, and the Revoltek chip. So let's go through the articulation points for this figure. We have a nice neck joint here but it's somewhat angled like just like any other anime uh, or game figures in the Revoltek line. It always has this angled neck uh, mold here. And then we have uh, ratchet joints here on the arms so you can move forward and back side to side. That's great. Single jointed elbow, swiveling hand and also there's a hinge here so you can move it from side to side. A waist area although he doesn't have doesn't have a upper joint here but uh, you can the washboard abs as you know as you can see here is highly sculpted and then we have swivel here a hinge also for the legs so you can move forward and back and side to side too and then we have a double jointed knees here and a hinge also here and you can also move it from side to side too for on the foot. So uh, the issue for most of the Revoltek figures is that they have really soft um, ankles so it is difficult to let him stand up straight and give you that perfect stance that you always wanted but it's going to be a problem because the uh, torso here is already angled, the neck is already angled so there's no way you can do it. That's why a Revoltek stand is really essential to um, put him in different, in a, on the standing position and also in fighting poses too. So uh, we have here really soft material for the guards, except for the back. Uh, it's really one solid piece, and then you can bend, you cannot bend it. There's a hole here, so you can plug the Revoltek stand in. And then it really helps in um, most of the dynamic poses for uh, Sanada Yukimura. As you can see here, he is really highly posable and even rivals most of my SH Figuarts figures. And then probably better than most of my collection. So I'm really happy about the posibilities for um, Sanada Yukimura. Uh, it took me a while before I can find one because it's really rare as of this post. Luckily, I got this for 20 bucks together with Date, uh, Date Masamune. So it's a really good pair to have for just 20 bucks. Someone needs to throw away this figure. So I uh, opted to buy both because this and Date Masamune are the essential um figures that you need in Sengoku Basara. So that's all you need to know about the figure.
Overall, this figure represents what Revoltic is all about. This figure really has a high possibility, very effective sculpt, and highly detailed weapons to end. For just 20 bucks, he is really worth your every penny and probably even more. He is almost perfect if not for that bad looking alternate face. And that is my review of the Revoltic Yamaguchi Sengoku Basara's Sanada Yukimura. If you want to know the possibilities for this figure, always check out the photos at the end of the video and subscribe to my blog spot for the full written review. This is Far Starter. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next review.